My main concern is making sure nobody dies. Uh... Good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Tandem Chasers. I'm your host, Michael. I'm here to remind you that while the events may be dramatic and extreme, these are not dramatic reenactments or actors. This is real life. Enjoy. Adam Miller is a documentary filmmaker here to capture every captivating moment and share their story of mental health awareness with the world. Really like getting these long shots here. Really establishes the situation, you know. Cut! Just getting the boys fed, man. That's the hardest part. Riley is both a master chef and the transportation logistics manager. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And for these racers, it is imperative that it is both nutritious and delicious. And Riley delivers every time. Yeah, getting the boys fed, making sure nobody's going hungry. We need uh, Team Canada full and healthy. We need the UK full. Healthy would be a nice added bonus, but number one priority for me is Team Canada. I'm responsible uh, every day for sending out the route uh, to the teams a few hours beforehand. Uh, today we're going to be starting uh, quite close to here on the other side of the hill where they finished their time trial. It's day five. Day five and the goal is to get to the Welcome to California sign. It's about 90k and right now Canada's in the lead still after uh, they lost the time trial by around like two minutes yesterday which is pretty impressive considering the Brits are killers on hills and Hambone was uh, feeling pretty ill for most of the day, really ill for most of the day. So even to get, be down by two minutes on that hill climb, I think that's great for us. Um, so today is gonna be... Oh, oh you forget something? We, we have it oh, in the, it, we got it in the glove box. <laughs> this, is, this, is what this is what I'm talking about here, okay? We might be older. You know, we might be a little thicker, but we will not forget anything. We are wiser. I know I can always rely on you guys. <laughs> gotcha, Angus. <laughs> <laughs> My job is to make a movie on these delightful gentlemen. Find the drama, and uh, I'm gonna do it even if it kills me. Um, I mean, yeah, so uh, the boys, uh, look, I don't know, they look like they're having some problems, so I'm just going to turn on the old uh, workhorse here and see what we can document. Oh. Action! Yeah, the high, highway's not the ideal office. It can be a bit tough, you got to get in there, you know, in the, in the moments that people not, might not want you there. Uh, but that's the job. You gotta go wherever it takes you. All right, let's roll out. Roll out. We don't got time to wait. Can I get the shot. With that, I'm also gonna be shooting with uh, my steady cam, my gimbal here, uh, and trying to get some nice, nice shots up close to the faces and leaning out the van here. Hopefully, not falling out. <laughs> Adam proves that documentary filmmakers will do whatever it takes to tell the story. Getting sweaty and in your face is all part of the job. Today, his office is the side of a highway and the inside of a van. We're a team, that's, that's all there is to be said. It's not easy getting these shots. My main concern is making sure nobody dies. Uh, you know, it's hard when you're on a big freeway like this with logging trucks and motorhomes and uh, four of your best friends on a bike. And the Brits too, you know. We don't want anybody getting hurt. Yeah, man, we just gotta chase that shot. Uh, within a close distance of these guys at all times to provide them with any tools, equipment, um, uh, any support required. I think, uh, I think he's got a bit of a lead here. While they are three individuals with different jobs, they work together as one cohesive unit, all with the greater interest of supporting mental health. This is gnarly, man. <laughs> 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 they, they, they know. <laughs> 
Mile Stroh is the asset and operations manager and is essential to keeping this race moving. Okay. We're feeling a little sluggish out there. I'm wondering if uh, our tires are a little low on pressure, we're so we're trying to pump them up to 100. Are we? We're at 100? Might just be physical instead of mechanical. Okay, let's get out of here. Good job. Another small success for Miles, the support team, and in this case, Team Canada. How far ahead are they? So I was hanging out the uh, the car like I like I've been doing, and as I was holding it out the window, it literally just from here just snapped right off. It just was like I was holding it straight out, and then. Whoosh. While Adam puts his life on the line to get the shot, today his equipment took the fall. And it hit the concrete, we were going to 40k, I don't know, and just like... This is at least $5,000 worth of gear right here. Yeah. Lens is fucked. Gimbal. I don't know. Ooh. Camera. I don't know. But thank God I brought a, another camera. So I'm gonna keep shooting the documentary. As the race progresses, the priorities of the support crew changes from safety and equipment for the teams to fueling these peak performance athletes. Yeah, they got sandwiches today. Oh, nice. Sweet. Uh, yeah, today's a little bit longer one. We got about 100K here. So uh, they're going to need all, all the nutritional value they can get to, to make sure they have enough energy to finish this, uh, this leg here. Three, two, one. Launch. Power on. Thanks, boys. So now these guys are moving pretty quick. The the stretch we have left is about 20 miles. Uh, we're gonna go right to the end point. We're gonna get set up. We're gonna welcome them. All right, this is where we're uh, finishing today's leg. Great uh, Britain just uh, passed a few minutes ago, so we're just waiting for Team Canada to arrive, and uh, they should be here pretty shortly. Ah! Team Canada holds holds the lead. By seven seconds. By seven seconds. <laughs> Team Canada is still on top. Oh! <laughs> you can't get rid of us, baby. You can't get rid of us, baby. Yeah. Oh, that's mad. That's Go big so day tomorrow then. Barley soup, boys. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a boat race, an old Canadian drinking game, and uh, unfortunately, yes, Canadian, sorry, dominated drinking game. And anyway, Ham is feeling really pretty sick the last couple of days, so he's not going to drink. So I'm going to sub him for him, and the guy holding the camera is going to drive for me. And let's do it. What? night it's a walk up uh, campground so no reservations we're just looking around uh, to find a place to, to set up our camp like I said before if you go to a campsite and you don't have a fire you're pretty much just parked on the side of a road right yeah so folks for you watching at home we got the tent set up we got the fire set up and there's only one thing left Time for Downey Live. Yes, this is the uh, editing station slash um, dump your footage and, and back it up. I sleep where all this gear is right here. And this other guy who I'm working with, he, he sleeps here. Uh, he's, he's around somewhere, I'm not, I'm not sure. He's, he usually has the camera in people's faces. So. 
And that concludes this evening's episode of Tandem Chasers. I hope you'll join us tomorrow for our regularly scheduled program of Downey Live. That felt good. That felt pretty good. You like Too that? Juicy? I like it enough. Uh?